Hello everyone, this is Chrysop. I hope you enjoyed the previous video and today I want to show with you several games I found online which are quite intriguing and the first one names Flow and it was designed as a master thesis and the guy whose name is Genova Chen was exploring the concept of dynamic difficulty adjustment. So basically there are two rules in the game. You can either descend or ascend. And you do that by using the creature you find in the game. So you start as a small bug and you flow around and the string is very easy because you follow the cursor of the mouse. Uh, once you find red creature, you can uh, go level below and you encounter their food and enemies and by eating food you make your creature bigger and the more you eat the longer you become and it's just that this is the basic principle and i've played for a while this game but i never get to the final boss so if you do please uh, tell me how it looks like because it takes a while and to speed things up, I jumped several levels to show you how the game graphics change when you get further within the game. So as you can see, the game is all about grinding and it's kind of strange. So the code is written in notepad, so you can easily manipulate levels, which I did and once you get uh, plenty of those little bugs or whatsoever the size of your animal pet will grow exponentially and you will get additional features the game is quite mysterious and it has this magic kind of music the game seems doesn't offer many enemies because just a moment ago I could see some enemies flying around and right now I cannot find them. The only thing which resonates on the screen is... Oh, okay, here they are. Uh, was this red thing? So they are probably flying around this red bacon which lets you go level down. It seems like the deeper you go, the darker it gets, and the faster the minis are. This is the whole code of the game. As you can see, you can easily manipulate the number of spam food at the beginning of basic levels. Basically, you can tailor the game to your liking, which makes it awesome option. So give it a try and see whether you like it. And now passing to the second one. The game name is Dina Blaster and it's very simple, it's extremely old, but it's quite addicting. You have several levels, actually plenty of levels, you go through and it's all about placing bombs in the right positions. You explode, delivering a blow to your enemies and if you are in the wrong position on the map, then you get killed by your own bomb, so you have to be really careful. But the levels get more complicated, you get additional skills, the bombs get bigger and longer, and the progress of the game is quite satisfying. So give it a try, and I think you enjoy it. You move by using mouse cursors and you place a bomb by hitting spacebar. That way you try to figure out the pace of your enemies and set up traps like I just did. Phenomenal move. At the beginning of the game you have only one bob at your disposal. After you destroy all enemies there is a light under one of the walls which signifies there is a boost there. I haven't found it before so I couldn't use it. 
and now the range of my bomb is bigger. And because I kill all enemies, I get to move to the next level. That's how the game goes. As you can see, when you advance, you keep your boost, so my bombs are now longer, and this helps you to kill more enemies. It's quite scary how the games got bigger over the time because originally the Dina version of the game is less than one megabyte, which is quite funny. And if you're lucky enough to find uh, the place where you can download this game, you'll get a list of codes so you can access the final level straight of the bat, which is quite also neat. This official site for the new version of the game, but I'm used to the old one, so if you want to try, you can go for the new version, but there is plenty of sites which uh, let you play the old and original version of the game. Finally, the game which is called Fly or Die, it has several servers and uh, the number of people currently playing is signified by the number on the left and this is the maximum capacity of the server. Let's play Europe 3, the more players the better for you because it's easier to level up and it's game for 3 hours if you want to get to the top, if you don't have an account, you cannot respawn, you cannot save. So if you get killed, you lose all your project and you start as a bee and on the top of the screen you have food which you can eat and it shows you how much experience you get. When you level up, you change into another animal. I change into butterfly, the next I will change into mosquito and the, your enemies are shown in yellow uh, sorry, red, and your foot is shown in green. So what you do, you sit on your foot and a dragonfly just caught me and if I lose my life to zero, then I get killed. You can respawn with the amount of experience you had um, in previous game. At bottom levels, it doesn't matter so much because you exp really fast, but on higher levels, when you spend one hour in the skin of one animal, it's frustrating when you lose half your experience, you have to start from the beginning. The game is very intuitive, you quickly will learn where you can hide, where you can, what special abilities each creature possesses, and there are two things to watch over, and this is water and oxygen. If you enjoyed this episode, if you know any other games which are fine and which are easy to play and are captivating, please let me know and see you next time.